Just drank too much beer one night with a bunch of buddies. <laughs> we went through the list and there's P-51s out there, you know, miniature ones, and there's P-38s, twin engine ones, and but there ain't no four engine ones. Originally it was going to build a B-24, but it wouldn't work out. The same size as a B-17, but it's different designs. The 24 wouldn't scale out right. Uh, it had a different wing and not enough square foot where the 17 actually would scale and still not need to be changed. I bought radio controlled model airplane prints that were one ninth scale and I upgraded it to one third scale. Well, I've been a carpenter for 32 years and I've worked on everything in the carpenter's field. And if it needs to be built, I can work on it. It took 17 years and 10 months from the start to it was certified to fly. And I worked on it all the time. Everybody said I was obsessed with it. I got a commercial license, used to be an instructor, but they're not multi-engine rated. And I can actually legally fly it because I built it, but they made me sign a waiver that I would not get in it because I'm not multi-engine rating. If I get in it, no insurance. Flies about 90 miles an hour, stalls about 50. They're hearth, four-cylinder, rated 80 horse, detuned down because we took the gearboxes off of them to about 45 horse each. First flight, uh, we were going to run the engines up and check them because we, they weren't broke in or anything. Uh, the pilot I had at that time, I can't hardly say different. <laughs> he didn't listen. So he, he opened the throttles. We told him go down the strip and back and warm them up because we're going to you know, run them full throttle. He went out my strip and opened the throttle and left. <laughs> I flew it over to the Dixon Airport at which is about a mile and a half from my strip. That was the first flight. We did, had no idea he was gonna fly it, nothing. Wasn't supposed to fly it, but he did. It was just a lot of fun for a long time. Challenging, very challenging. And I enjoyed the hell out of it all the time. Had a lot of my friends there all the time, a lot of people just come and see it. Met a lot of wonderful people about 15 or 20 B-17 pilots from World War II came to visit and then was some real good stories. They all wanted to fly it. Every one of them said, I can fly that. Get her done. Aero TV is brought to you by why wait for the electric aircraft revolution when Pipistrol started it years ago? Pipistrol's Alpha Electro Trainer and the Pipistrol Taurus Electro Sailplane are here now. Check them out at pipistrol-usa.com. Trig Avionics. More pilots are realizing the benefits of Trig. We make innovative certified avionics that are easier to install and operate backed with the best support and warranty in the business. Contact your approved Trig dealer now, www.trig-avionics.com.